The beloved Community Center of Greensboro has a deep commitment to affirming the dignity, worth, and potential of every person. This transformative work has led our center to the important work of building relationships between our African American and Latino communities. The beloved Community Center hosted a major Black Brown Conference in 2008, which gathered over 400 people and served as a beginning to our discussions, efforts, and work towards a better understanding and common ground for African Americans and Latinos. The beloved Community Center has worked to pull together groups to stand against discriminatory federal policies, such as secure communities and the denial of the DREAM Act. The beloved Community Center sees unity and honest dialogue as a way to confront the forces trying to divide the community and deepen the racism that exists in our culture. The BCC has worked in partnership with the Farm Labor Organizing Committee and Oxfam to address human rights abuses within North Carolina's tobacco industry. This work is focused on Reynolds American Tobacco Company, which operates a large part of its tobacco supply chain from the eastern region of our state. This work has resulted in the release of a report released by Oxfam and Flock that details the human rights abuses in the fields of North Carolina. Reverend Nelson Johnson has worked closely with the president of Flock, Mr. Baldemar Velasquez, giving voice to the issues affecting our migrant worker community. Reverend Johnson has worked with and organized several delegations of ministers to take a journey to see and report back the story of the horrific living and working conditions of our Latino brothers and sisters in Eastern North Carolina. Um, I shared before that I've worked in tobacco fields, uh, but this was uh, a very impactful visit for me. Um, we were at a site that looked like about a hundred people uh, in living spaces uh, that were uh, hot, unsanitary. Uh, the bathrooms were uh, extremely uh, not good. Uh, and we were overcome with gnats. But here's what I want to say, that you kind of know these things, but there's nothing that substitutes for seeing another person and another human being and connecting on that level with right. folk. Right. It's a little bit more than a picture. Right. Uh, pictures are good, but to touch the flesh and to feel the spirit is what I felt today. The work of growing the social justice conscience amongst our faith leaders is instrumental in building this movement towards justice for farm workers and addressing larger and deeper questions of how do we build quality relationships with the most vulnerable of those in our society, as our faith calls us to do. Students, community leaders, and activists organized by the beloved Community Center have also played a vital role in direct actions, community organizing, and public education sessions to shed light on these injustices and to work towards more just labor relations. Reverend Johnson also led the effort to work with street organizations, particularly a Latino street group, to make peace treaties and work towards a nonviolent street culture that has the opportunity to open the door for other marginalized groups and helping the community to see their unrealized potential. This important work has led the call for a more accountable and professional police department. The BCC has worked within faith, labor, and community alliances to call for a greater and more unified social movement that continues to speak truth to power.